Okay, in this video, this is the full guide of preparing the solution in order to make the titanium substrate antimony tin oxide electrode. So here we have some solder, ordinary solder. So we take about how many ever much you want. Now this is just a demonstration video. Uh, the rest of the video has been recorded somewhere else because, you know, I don't actually need any more plating solution and I'm just going to show you the steps to pre prepare some. You know, I might as well make a little bit. So get the whole roll ideally, but you can just get that much. And then you have some nitric acid. You know, it doesn't matter the purity. We learn later that literally. So in order for this to react, you actually have to heat it up. Well, you don't, but I'd honestly rather heat this up. So after you've done this, you know, you let it, you can either sit it at room temperature and make it react slowly, which if you're doing this in an indoor space, I recommend you do that. However, if you're doing this outdoors, then you got to crank up the heat. Once you crank up the heat, this will start dissolving and you'll get a mixture of lead nitrate and uh, tin, tin 4 oxide, also known as metastatic acid. So it's reacting very slowly, like one second. You can see that even cold nitric acid will react with the 6040 alloy of uh, tin lead. One second. So you can see that bubbles are indeed coming up. Those bubbles are nitrogen monoxide, which uh, occur because the nitric acid is directly oxidizing the material. Now there is one way to reduce the amount of nitrogen monoxide present when you're doing this, and that's to get some hydrogen peroxide. You add hydrogen peroxide to this, you, you, it allows the tin to dissolve a lot faster or not dissolve, I mean the lead to dissolve a lot faster, and the tin will convert into this uh, oxide hydroxide. So right now, no bubbling is occurring, which is good, but it is indeed attacking it even quicker. So you want to heat this up. Now, I'm not going to heat this up because, you know, I don't really have time to do it outdoors, but, you know, I'm just going to leave this at room temperature. But in the very next step of this video, you will see the completed reaction mixture. And if you've seen the part two of my video, you know how this gets once you actually do plan to heat it up. So because of that, no, I'm keeping it room temperature. Now we're somewhere else entirely. So over here, my friend has obtained some metastatic acid from the reaction of tin with nitric acid. This metastatic acid needs to be washed decanted and filtered. The washing step allow you to isolate pure metastatic acid which must be done in order to get a clean product. You need to first wash it with, uh, with dilute nitric acid then with water. The obtained filtrate is then reacted with clean distilled 20% hydrochloric acid free from any iron or any sort of impurity that may cause issue to the uh, plating process. Metastatic acid is not able to react with dilute hydrochloric acid, therefore the concentration must be increased. This is done by bubbling HCl gas through the solution using a gas generator made of 36% hydrochloric acid and calcium chloride to break the azeotrope. 
the reaction mixture is allowed to heat up and boil away while the uh, tin tetrachloride pentahydrate uh, concentrates in the uh, remaining solution. Anyway, not all of it will react. That is completely normal. It will uh, be fully reacted in the next step. Next, we take our concentrated tin tetrachloride pentahydrate solution and add about 80% weight of alcohol, either methanol or ethanol, with a predicted amount of tin tetrachloride produced. A dopant of 10% weight with respect to tin 4 chloride is added, and this dopant can be cerium or antimony chloride. Finally, more hydrochloric acid vapor is bubbled through the uh, ethanolic or methanolic solution of. Uh, plating mixture until it is very very strongly acidic until it would theoretically be 20 percent methanolic or ethanolic uh, hydrochloric acid solution of this plating mixture and after this it's ready for use in uh, the plating step <music>